Concept of God in Major Religions Part 1 Introduction One of the distinguishing features of our civilization is the presence of a large number of religions and ethical systems. Mankind has always sought to understand the reason for creation and his own place in the scheme of things. Arnold Toynbee studied the history of man through the ages and put his findings in a monumental work consisting of ten volumes. He summarized that in the history of man, religion stood as the center. In an article in The Observer on October 24, 1954 he wrote, I have come back a the belief that religion holds the key to the mystery of existence. Religion according to the Oxford Dictionary means belief in a superhuman controlling power especially in a personal god or gods entitled to obedience and worship. A common feature of all major religions is the belief in a universal god or supreme divine authority that is omnipotent and omniscient. Followers of all major religions believe that the god they worship is the same god for them as well as for others. Marxism, Freudianism and other non-religious beliefs tried to attack the roots of organized religion. But these in turn, developed into belief systems themselves. For instance, when El Communism was many countries of the world it was preached with the same commitment and fervor that characterizes preaching and propagation of, characterizes the act of preaching, religions. Thus religion is an integral part of human existence. The glorious Quran says in the following verse. Say, O people of the book. Come to common terms as between us and you, that we worship none but Allah, that we associate no partners with him, that we erect not, from among ourselves, lords and patrons other than Allah. If then they turn back, say ye, bear witness that we, at least, are Muslims, bowing to Allah's will. A.I. Quran 364. The study of various religions has been an extremely rewarding experience for me. It has reaffirmed the belief that God created every human soul with some knowledge of his existence. The psychological constitution of man is such that he accepts the existence of the Creator, unless he has been conditioned to believe the contrary. In other words, belief in God requires no condition, while a rejection of God does. Categorization of Major World Religions Religions of the world can be broadly categorized into Semitic religions and non Semitic religions. Non Semitic religions can be divided into Aryan religions and non Aryan religions. Semitic religions Semitic religions are religions that originated among the Semites. According to the Bible, Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, had a son called Shem. The descendants of Shem are known as Semites. Therefore, Semitic religions are the religions that originated among the Jews, Arabs, Assyrians, Phoenicians, etc. Major Semitic religions are Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. All these religions are prophetic religions that believe in divine guidance sent through prophets of God. Non-Semitic religions. The non-Semitic religions are further subdivided into Aryan and non-Aryan religions. Aryan religions. Aryan religions are the religions that originated among the Aryans. A powerful group of Indo-European speaking people that spread through Iran and northern India in the first half of the second millennium BC, 2000 to 1500 BC. The Aryan religions are further subdivided into Vedic and non-Vedic religions. The Vedic religion is given the misnomer of Hinduism or Brahmanism. The non-Vedic religions are Sikhism, Buddhism, Jainism, etc. Almost all Aryan religions are non-prophetic religions. Zoroastrianism is an Aryan, non-Vedic religion, which is not associated with Hinduism. It claims to be a prophetic religion. Non-Aryan religions. The non-Aryan religions have diverse origins. Confucianism and Taoism are of Chinese origin while Shintoism is of Japanese origin. Many of these non-Aryan religions do not have a concept of God. They are better referred to as ethical systems rather than as religions. Most authentic definition of God in any religion. The concept of God espoused by a religion cannot be judged by merely observing the practice of its followers. It is quite common for the followers of many religions to be ignorant of the concept of God in their scriptures. It is therefore better to analyze the concept of God in any religion by referring to its holy scriptures. Let us understand the concept of God in major world religions by analyzing what their scriptures have to say about it. Concept of God in Hinduism. The most popular among the Aryan religions is Hinduism. Hindu is actually a Persian word which stands for the inhabitants of the region beyond the Indus Valley. However in common parlance Hinduism is a blanket term for an assortment of religious beliefs, most of whom are based on the Vedas, the Upanishads and the Bhagavad Gita. Common concept of God in Hinduism? Hinduism is commonly perceived as a polytheistic religion. Indeed, most Hindus would attest to this. 
By professing belief in a multitude of gods. Some Hindus believe in the system of three god while some Hindus actually believe in the existence of 33 crore i.e. 330 million gods. However learned Hindus who are well versed with their scriptures insist that a Hindu should believe in and worship only one god. The major difference between the Hindu and the Muslim perception of God is the common Hindu's belief in the philosophy of pantheism. Pantheism considers everything, living and non-living to be divine and sacred. The Hindus therefore consider the trees, the sun, the moon, the animals and even the human beings as manifestations of God. For the common Hindu, everything is God. Islam, on the contrary, exhorts man to consider himself and his surroundings as examples of divine creation rather than as divinity itself. Muslims therefore believe that everything is God's i.e. God with an apostrophes. In other words we believe that everything belongs to God. The trees, the sun, the moon and everything in this. Thus the major difference between the Hindu and the Thus the major difference between the Thus the major difference between the Hindu and the Muslim beliefs is difference of the apostrophes the Hindus says everything is God. The Muslim says everything is God's, i.e. God with an apostrophes. The Holy Quran says come to common terms as between us and you. The first common term is that we worship none but Allah. The first common term is that we worship none but Allah. So let us try and find commonality by analyzing both Hindu and Islamic scriptures. Bhagavad Gita. The most popular among all the Hindu scriptures is the Bhagavad Gita. Consider the following verse from the Gita. Those whose intelligence has been stolen by material desires surrender unto demigods and follow the particular rules and regulations of worship according to their own natures. The Gita is referring to people who are materialistic. Bhagavad Gita chapter 7 verse 20, BG 720. The Gita is referring to people who are materialistic and therefore worship demigods i.e. besides the true God. Upanishads. The Upanishads are also considered sacred scriptures by the Hindus. Consider the following verses from the Upanishads. 1. Akamivaditiyam. He is one only without a second. Chandogya Upanishads 6 to 2 colon 1. 2. Consider again, the following verses from the Upanishads. Narkasaya Kasojani to Narkadhipa. Of him there are neither parents nor lord. Sveta Savatar Upanishad 6, 9J, squared part 2, page 263. 3. Consider the following verses from the Upanishads. Nartasya Pratimu Asti. There is no likeness of him. Sveta Svatar Upanishad chapter 4, 19. Nina Murd Vam Nartiriankam Narmadhi Narparijagrabhat Nartasi Pratim Asti Yasya Narmamahad Yasa. There is no likeness of him whose name is great glory. The principal Upanishad by S. Radhakrishnan page 736 and damp, 737. Sacred Books of the East, Volume 15, The Upanishad Part 2 page no 253. Compare the above verses with the following verses of the Holy Quran. And there is none like unto him. Holy Quran, 112 to 4. There is nothing whatever like unto him. Holy Quran, 42:11. 4. The following verses from the Upanishad allude to the inability of men to imagine God in a particular form. Na samtstisati rupamasya, na kaksusapasyati kaskanayam. Tatistham manasayuenam, evam vidyaram has tapavanti. His form is not to be seen, no one sees him with the eye. Those who through heart and mind know him as abiding in the heart become immortal. Svetasvataru Upanishad 4:20. The Holy Quran refers to this aspect in the following verse. No vision can grasp him but his grasp is over all vision, he is above all comprehension, yet is acquainted with all things. Holy Quran 6 to 103. The Vedas. Vedas are considered the most sacred amongst all the Hindu scriptures. There are four main Vedas. Rigved, Yajaved, Samved, and Athavaved. 1. Yajaved. I consider the following verses from the Yajaved. Nartasya Pratimu Asti. There is no image of him. Yajav 32, 3. It further says as he is unborn, he deserves our worship. There is no image of him whose glory verily is great.
he sustains within himself all luminous objects like the sun etc. May he not harm me, this is my prayer. As he is unborn, he deserves our worship. The Yajaveda by Devi Chandem. A page 377. 2. He is bodiless and pure. Is mentioned in Yajav 48. He hath attained unto the bright, bodiless, woundless, sinewless, the pure chival hath not pierced. Farsighted, wise, encompassing, he self-existent hath prescribed aims, as propriety demands, unto the everlasting years. Age of 48. Yajaveda Samhita by Ralph I. H. Griffith page 538. 3. It is also mentioned in the Three, it is also mentioned in the Yajaveda. And Hatama Pravishanti Yasambuti based. They enter darkness, those who worship natural things, for example air, water, fire etc. They sink deeper in darkness those who worship Sambuti. Sambuti means created things, for example table, share, idol, etc. Age of 49. 4. It also mentions a prayer stating. Lead us to the good path and remove the sin that makes us stray and wander. Yajaveda Chapter 40, 16, 2, Artavaved. Consider the following verses from Artavaved. I, Devmahosi, God is verily great. Atharvaveda 2058, 3, Verily, Sir, yeah, thou art great, truly, Aditya, thou art great, daughters, thou art great indeed, thy greatness is admire, yea, verily, great art thou, O God. Atharvada Samhiti Volume 2 William D. Might Whitney Page 910. A similar message is given in Quran in Sararad. He is the great, the most high. The Holy Quran 13, 9, 3, Rigved. I, the oldest of all the Vedas is Rigveda. It is also the one considered most sacred by the Hindus. The Rigved states that sages, learned priests, call one God by many names. Rigveda 1 to 164 to 46. 2. The Rigveda gives no less than 33 different attributes to Almighty God, many of these are mentioned in Rigveda Book 2 Him 1. Amongst the various attributes given in Rigveda, one of the beautiful attributes. Mentioned in Rigveda Sub 2 verse 3 for Almighty God is Brahma Brahma means the Creator. Translated into Arabic this word it means Kalik. Muslims can have no objection if Almighty God is referred to as Kalik or Creator or Brahma. However Muslims definitely do not subscribe to the view that Brahma is Almighty God who has four heads, nor Zubila, Muslims take strong acceptation to it. Describing Almighty God in anthropomorphic terms also goes against the following verse of Yajaveda. Natasya Pratimu Asti, there is no image of him. Yajaved 32, 3. Another beautiful attribute mentioned in the Rigveda book 2 him 1 verse 3, RV, 2 to 1 colon 3, is Vishnu. Vishnu means the sustainer. Translated into Arabic it means Rab. Again, Muslims can have no objection if Almighty God is referred to as Rab or Sustainer of Vishnu but the popular image of Vishnu among Hindus is that of a God who has four arms. With one of the right arms holding the chakra Ye a discus and one of the left arms holding a conch shell, riding a bird or reclining on a snake couch. Muslims can never accept any image of God. As mentioned earlier this also goes against Yajaveda chapter 40 verse 19. Eel, consider the following verses from the Rigved. March Idan Yadvi Shanzata. O friends, do not worship anybody but him, the Divine One. Rigveda Book 8, 1-1. Rigveda Samhiti Volume 9, Page 1 and 2 by Swami Satya Prakash Sarasvati and Satuakam Vidyalanka. 4. The wise yogis concentrate their minds, and concentrate their thought as well in the Supreme Reality, which is omnipresent great and omniscient. He alone, knowing their functions, assigns to the sense organs their respective tasks. Verily, great is the glory of to Divine Creator. Rigveda 581 Rigveda Samhiti Volume 6 page 1802 and 1803 by Swami Satya Prakash Saraswati and Satuakam Vidyalanka. Brahma Sutra of Hindu Vedanta The Brahma Sutra of Hindu Vedanta is Ikam Brahm, Dviti Anast Nainanast Kinchan. There is only one God, not the second, not at all, not at all, not in the least bit. Thus only a dispassionate study of the Hindu scriptures can help one understand the concept of God in Hinduism.
Concept of God in Sikhism Sikhism is a non-Semitic, Aryan, non-Vedic religion. Though not a major religion of the world, it is a branch or offshoot of Hinduism founded by Guru Nanak at the end of the 15 inches century. It originated in the area of Pakistan and northwest India called Punjab meaning the land of the five rivers. Guru Nanak was born in a Kshatriya warrior caste, Hindu family but was very strongly influenced by Islam and Muslims. Definition of Sikh and Sikhism The word Sikh is derived from the word Sisya meaning disciple or follower. Sikhism is a religion of ten gurus, the first guru being Guru Nanak and the ten inches and the last being Guru Gobind Singh. The sacred book of Sikhism is Sri Guru Granth also called Adi Granth Sahib. The 5 Ks. Every Sikh is supposed to keep the 5 Ks which are also serve as his identity. 1 Kesh, uncut hair, which all the gurus kept. 2 Kanga, combj, used to keep the hair clean. 3 Kada, metal or steel bangle, for strength and self restraint 4. Kerbon, dagger, for self-defense. 5. Kaka, special knee-length underwear or underdrawer for agility. Mul Mantra the fundamental creed of Sikhism. The best definition that any Sikh can give regarding concept of God in Sikhism is quote the Mul Mantra, the fundamental creed of Sikhism, which occurs at the beginning of Guru Granth Sahib. It is mentioned in Sri Guru Granth Sahib Volume 1 Jirpuji, the first verse. There exists but one God, who is called the true the Creator, free from fear and hate, immortal not begotten, self-existent, great and compassionate. Sikhism enjoins on its followers strict monotheism. It believes in only one supreme God who is, in the unmanifest form called Ekamkara. In the manifest form he is called as Omkara and has several attributes such as Kata, the Creator, Sahib, the Lord, Akal, the Eternal, Satan Amma, the Holy Name. Pervadagar the Cherisher, Rahim, the Merciful, Karim, the Benevolent. He is also called Wahe Guru, the One True God. Besides Sikhism being strictly monotheistic, it does not believe in Avatar of Ada, the doctrine of incarnation. Almighty God does not incarnate himself in what is known as Avatara. Sikhism is also strongly against idol worship. Guru Nanak influenced by Kabir. Guru Nanak was influenced by the sayings of Sant Kabir so much that several chapters of Sri Guru Nanak Sahib contain couplets of Sant Kabir. One of the famous couplets of Sant Kabir is Duk mine sumirana sub koran suk mine koran narkoya jo suk mine sumirana koran to duk hoy. Everyone remembers God during trouble, but no one remembers Him during peace and happiness. The one who remembers God during peace and happiness why should he have trouble? Compare this with the following verse of the Holy Quran. When some trouble toucheth man, he crieth unto his Lord, turning to him in repentance. But when he bestoweth a favor upon him as from himself, man, doth forget what he cried and prayed for before, and he doth set up rivals unto Allah. Holy Quran 39-8 Concept of God in Zoroastrianism Zoroastrianism is an ancient Aryan religion which originated in Persia more than 2,500 years ago. Though it has relatively few adherents, less than 130,000 in the whole world, it is one of the oldest religions. The Iranian prophet Zoroaster was the founder of Zoroastrianism, also commonly known as Parsiism. The sacred scripture of the Parsis is the Dasatir and Avesta. God in Zoroastrian religion is known as Ahura Mazda. Ahura means the Lord and Mazda means the wise, hence Ahura Mazda means the wise Lord or the wise God. Ahura Mazda stands for a, a strict form of monotheistic God. Dualities of God according to Dasatiya. According to Dasatiya, Ahura Mazda has the following qualities. One, he is one. 
2. Nothing resembles him. 3. He is without an origin or end. 4. He has no father or mother, wife or son. 5. Without a body or form. 6. Neither the eye can behold him, nor the power of thinking can conceive him. 7. He is above all that you can imagine of. 8. He is nearer to you than your own self. Qualities of God according to Avesta According to Avesta, the Garthas and the Yasna give the various characteristics to Ahura Mazda such as 1. Creator. Yasna 31 to 7 and Damp, 11, Yasna 44 to 7, Yasna 50 11, Yasna 51 to 7. 2. Most Mighty, the Greatest. Yasna 33 colon 11, Yasna 45 to 6. 3. Beneficent Hadai. Yasna 33 11, Yasna 48 to 3. 4. Bountiful, Spenta. Yasna 43 to 4, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Yasna 44 to 2, Yasna 45 to 5, Yasna 46 to 9. Yasna 48 to 3. Concept of God in Judaism. Judaism is one of the major Semitic religions. Its followers are known as Jews and they believe in the prophetic mission of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. 1. The following verse from Deuteronomy contains an exhortation from Moses. Shamus Reilu Adonimilaheno Adna Ikad. It is a Hebrew quotation which means. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The Bible, Deut 6-4. 2. Consider the following verses from the book of Isaiah. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Saviour. The Bible, Isaiah 43 11. 3. I am Lord, and there is none else there is no God besides me. The Bible, Isaiah 45, 5. 4. I am God, and there is none else, I am God, and there is none like me. The Bible, Isaiah 46 9. 5. Judaism condemns idol worship in the following verses. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath. Or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor see them, for I the Lord thy God am a jealous God. The Bible, Exodus 23 5. 5. A similar message is repeated in the book of Deuteronomy. Thou shalt have none other gods before me. Thou shalt not make thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that in the earth beneath. Or that is in the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them, for I the Lord thy God am a jealous God. The Bible, Jude 5 7 9. Concept of God in Christianity. Christianity is a Semitic religion, which claims to have nearly two billion adherents all over the world. Christianity owes its name to Jesus Christ, peace be on him. Jesus is also a revered figure in Islam. Islam is the only non Christian faith that prescribes faith in Jesus. Before we discuss the concept of God in Christianity, let us examine the position of Jesus, peace be upon him, in Islam. 1. Islam is the only non Christian faith, which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus. Two, we believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah. Three, we believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians do not believe. Four, we believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. Five, we believe that he healed those born blind, and the lepers with God's permission. One may ask, if both Muslims and Christians love and respect Jesus, peace be upon him, where exactly is the parting of ways? The major difference between Islam and Christianity is the Christian's insistence on the supposed divinity of Christ. A study of the Christian scriptures reveals that Jesus never claimed divinity. In fact there is not a single unequivocal statement in the entire Bible where Jesus himself says, I am God or where he says, worship me. In fact the Bible contains statements attributed to Jesus in which he preached quite the contrary. Consider the following statements in the Bible, attributed to Jesus Christ. My father is greater than I, John 14 28. My father is greater than all. John 10 29. I cast out devils by the Spirit of God. Matthew 12:28 With the finger of God cast out devils. Luke 11:20 20. 
I can of mine own self do nothing, as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father, which hath sent me. The mission of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he came to fulfill the law. Jesus never claimed divinity for himself. He clearly announced the nature of his mission. Jesus was sent by God to confirm the previous Judaic law. This is clearly evident in the following statements attributed to Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew. Think not that I am come to destroy the law, or the prophets, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The Bible, Matthew 5, 17 to 20. God sent Jesus, peace be upon him. The Bible mentions the prophetic nature of Jesus' mission in the following verses. Dot and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which has sent me. The Bible, John 14 24. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. The Bible, John 17 3. Jesus refuted even a remote suggestion of his divinity. Consider the following incident mentioned in the Bible. And, behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do, that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is, God, but if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. The above statements from the Bible refute the Christian dogma of divinity of Jesus and of salvation through the sacrifice of Jesus. Jesus exhorts keeping the commandments as the means to achieve salvation. The Bible, Matthew 5, 17-20. Jesus, peace be upon him, of Nazareth, a man approved of God. The following statement from the Bible supports the Islamic belief that Jesus was a prophet of God. Ye men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. The first commandment is that God is one. The Bible does not support the Christian belief in Trinity at all. One of the scribes once asked Jesus as to which was the first commandment of all, to which Jesus merely repeated what Moses had said, namely, This is a Hebrew quotation, which means, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Mark 12 29.